Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to talk about the Rake P108SF. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so uh, quick question. Uh, how's your quarantine going? Gone crazy yet? I'm getting there. <laughs> This has been an insane time for me. I am such a social outdoors, got to be around things going on uh, that just being stuck in the house 24-7 kind of sucks. So I am spending time outside doing, you know, exercising, riding bike, uh, hanging out on the back porch, that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it's getting a little frustrating. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for this. Now, just so you know, uh, I got this at Blade Show last year, so what about 11 months ago 10 months ago something like that um and before i got it i was they were fairly new to the market at that time uh and i really wanted to get my hands on one before i bought one so when i got there and i tried out a few this is the one that caught my attention the most and i got it now i really can't remember how much i paid for it probably between 35 and 40 dollars i do know it was cheaper than what was online um and i gotta say well, we'll get to it. First, let me show you what comes in the box, and then uh, we'll go over the specs and stuff like that. This is the box that it comes in. So, just kind of give you the ins and out of it like that. Um, we'll open it up. With this little box, it came in some plastic. Why I never threw it away, I don't know. <laughs> That's just me. You get your user manual. I have two warranty cards, um, so there you go, other side is Chinese because it is made in China, um, and I'll get more on that in just a second, and this, something that I really like, I wish more knife companies would do, it comes with a kind of a guide of what all knives they offer, um, there may be more than this, there's already a few that have caught my eye that I really want to potentially review um, but just so you know and for a future video I got this one right here at Blaze Show as well I'm gonna get a little bit closer hopefully it'll focus I can't tell um, pretty awesome so far I will say that the sheath is really amazing on it um, but yeah I mean I do like this um, and what's really cool about the rake knives is that they are made by the Phoenix flashlight company so I do believe that's probably the first time I've ever heard and I don't know if any other flashlight company to this day is making knives um, but I thought that was pretty cool uh, and since I have had this for so long I'll show you the specs right here I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to read them because I can't tell if the camera is focusing on it maybe that's gonna help sorry I can't tell if it's focusing but you're looking at a blade length of 3.46 inches overall length of 8.27 Blade thickness is 3.1 millimeter or 0.12 inches. The weight is 4.06 ounces. The blade material, or blade steel, is a 14C28N. And the handle material is a 3CR14N. And I got a good bit to say about all of that, right? Um, first off, let's go with the weight, four, four ounces. I will say this because obviously you can't tell it by looking at this and let's give you a quick rundown of the blade this side and we're going to talk more about each feature in just a second right here this is a area for a lanyard hole um, has to be pretty thin in order to get it through but uh, let's just keep going with those it is right hand only tip up tip up is my preferred but I'm not really all that picky um, it is a frame lock and I'll show you the lock up right here which is really good and then they have this right here uh, so that you can lock it in place I forget what they call it. I think it was a beta pro is the what they're gonna call it um, but it also w works as a lock bar over travel stopper so you can't overextend the lock bar um, the pocket clip very impressive uh, very close to deep carry, 
Um, if you have thick, like tactical pants that have the, like the reinforced pockets, um, it's a little more of a struggle to get it all the way down, but regular pants pockets seem to do just fine. Uh, and I will say this, this kind of looks like a little mini bottle opener right here. It's not, but uh, I just thought that's kind of what it looked like. Um, it is a flipper and it is incredibly smooth. Uh, open pillar construction or partial open pillar construction as you can see because you got the back spacer right here and it is partially skeletonized in there. I don't think you're going to be able to tell um, but just a small amount but it does reduce a little bit of weight. Um, but I mean it doesn't say what kind of pivot that it has that if it's any ball bearings in there or not but it feels like it is they just don't mention it so I can't think that there is but man this is just insanely smooth um, once again I'll try to see if you can get the model number here the blade scale and that 14 C 28 n that's another one um, I've got to a point where I mean I've tested a lot of budget knives OS 8 and HCR 13 have kind of been the cream of the crop for uh, budget stills for a really long time. But I got to say, this one is 100% my new favorite. This, I believe, or I feel, all budget knives should start coming with. HCR, OS 8, for pocket knives, definitely for pocket knives, fixed blades potentially, but this should replace all of them. Edge retention is really good for a budget steel. Um, I mean, very impressed for a budget steel. I've been very impressed at how long the edge lasts. Um, as you can see how thin this is, it slices like you wouldn't believe. Came razor sharp. Um, another good thing about this steel is it's very easy to get a edge back on it. And I mean, literally just, if you're not the kind of person that lets you, like me, that doesn't let them get dull, like literally you just drop it every now and then. And I mean, like maybe five passes on each side, it's right back to where it was. Um, on a ceramic rod, just a few passes, it does really well. But if you let it get dull, I'm telling you, it's literally a couple of minutes tops to get it right back to where you're at hair shaving sharp again. Um, maybe you can tell the edge that I have on it. See that's glistening <laughs> or gleaming off of it. Uh, it takes a mirrored edge very easily so if you like getting your knives that kind of sharp which I do uh, you'll really enjoy this one um, now the weight four ounces I'm telling you right now I mean I know it says four ounces I put it on my scale pretty much the same thing right but it doesn't carry like a four ounce knife it definitely feels like it's lighter than what it says so that is really cool um, I mean the handle materials yeah it's gonna be slick it's got like a bit of a stone wash finish Hopefully you can tell this one just the kind of silverish gray. Um, so it's going to be kind of slick just because, you know, it is is what it is. It's a stainless steel. Um, but for what you would use it for, and this is just, uh, for me, perfect EDC knife. Even, I would say, would double as a gentleman's knife just because it does look pretty elegant. That pocket clip really sets it off. Uh, I believe that's like anodized aluminum and so that just gives it makes it look a little extra nicer the pocket clip I mean it's that black uh, just assuming it's a plastic could be aluminum but it doesn't say um, just an elegant looking knife but it will do all of your daily tasks I mean I've cut up a lot of boxes opened a lot of packages uh, shaved some wood done some carving with it uh, so you can use it for in the woods purposes uh, because you do have that beta lock that is going to uh, prevent it from closing. Uh, frame locks are already kind of by nature fairly strong. And so this, if you just want that extra security, um, I've never used it. I don't think I ever will. Uh, if you're the type of person that wants to lock it so you don't have to worry about it coming open your pocket, you can do that. I've never had it open in my pocket, so I don't really worry about that. But it's there if you like it. I just like it because it prevents me from overextending the lock bar. So... Uh, you're not going to get that on hardly any budget knife whatsoever. So that's a really good feature, I think. Um, and another feature is just look at the edges. Look at all the contouring they have going on all around. Right? Perfectly centered bl blade. 
I have not had to adjust the pivot once since I've had it. But there is a lot of detail work in here. A lot of time and effort. I mean, even here you have your contours. Across the top, it's contoured on both sides. Perfectly well done. The fit and finish is amazing. And for the price point, um, I haven't looked it up on Amazon recently, so I don't know what they're going for right now. I'm assuming probably still for around 40 bucks. And I'm telling you right now, this is worth well above its price point. Um, there is no reason why I would hesitate to not buy another one or to tell you to get one. So if you can't tell, I'm highly recommending this because it is one amazing blade. Um, now I know with all that's going on in China, a lot of people are gonna probably be upset about that, but kind of is what it is at that point. Uh, that's also gonna go for your Phoenix flashlights though. And most of your flashlight companies are from China. So you're gonna have to make that decision for yourself of what you want to do. But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, I can't say enough. Sorry about the wind. We had a huge storm here last night and we got more clouds coming. So I don't know if it's supposed to rain again tonight. Uh, but yeah, guys, you definitely have to check them out. I know you will love the knife. There is nothing that I dislike about it. There's not even like any critiques that I would say they could have done better. And that's kind of hard to say or, you know, not an easy trait to have in a budget knife, especially at that price point. Um, now, one thing I do hate to say, or I hate hearing people saying that it's a great knife for its price, because to me, some a lot of these, it's just a great knife. <laughs> There's a lot of expensive knives that still have budget-oriented steels on them. Um, and so I, I really hate it sometimes when people say that it's good for the price. This is just good. Let's just put it that way. This is just a good knife, and you can get it at a great price. Um, all right, so question for y'all, and I want you to leave it down in the comments. If you want me to review some more of these knives, different models, just let me know in the comments below which ones you would like to review, and I'll try to get it done. Um, just so you know, I've got a bunch more knife reviews. I think I have five more pocket knives that I have to review and three or four fixed blades. Um, but I won't take a year to get to it. If you do put them in the comments below and I'll see what I can do about getting them. Uh, but man, I mean, just buttery smooth. I don't think I've oiled this since I've had it. <laughs> and I mean, I've been in rotation with some several other knives with this one since Blade Show, but I'm telling you, I mean, I've used it a ton. I do this a lot, right? Because Typically, when I first started doing knife reviews, I would do this like one a month. And so I would just drive around, flicking the knife open, close it right while I'm driving. Because I would want to put a ton of wear on it, you know. So theoretically, let's just say six months worth of wear in a month, uh, just to see how it would hold up. But I've been doing this for almost a year now. And no issues. You've got perfect lockup. There is no both blade play side to side or front to back. I mean, it's just... A solid knife and you got a good uh, torque screw right here for the pivot so if you need to adjust it for any reason you can definitely do that I guess just the only downside okay if you got to be nitpicky uh, it's right hand only pocket here I'm right-handed so I'm not complaining <laughs> right I guess if you're left-handed you might have a complaint but I'm, I'm right-handed so no bother for me all right Okay guys, hopefully this will help you in your purchasing decisions of finding your next great pocket knife. Uh, I definitely think this is going to fit the bill. And in the meantime guys, be prepared, have fun, and let's not try to lose our minds during quarantine. Alright, stay tuned.